back again with another video. Today, I'm going to help you fix your defending on FC24. I know this is something a lot of people struggle with, but Jambu is here to help. If you are new to the channel, we upload videos every day to help you guys improve. We do speed run 20 and 0 weekend leagues on stream. So subscribe and I'll help you improve at the game for free. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's try and hit 200 likes. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. So before we get into any gameplay, I just want to very quickly run through the settings. A lot of people ask me what I actually use on defending. So the clearance assistance, I mean, it's not that deep. This is the main one. I use tactical defending. There's definitely benefits to using advanced as well. I'm an old school FIFA player, man. I'm stuck in my ways. I don't want to adapt. That's just how it is. And we're hitting 20 and O's on tactical defending. So it must be doing something right. That is what I recommend using, especially if you're a lower level player. Tactical defending, you know, you're just going to get more assistance. It's easier to use. And that is what I recommend. Okay, so you guys know the drill by now. Win, lose, or draw, this video will be going live. It's going to be a special emphasis on defending today. If you are new to the videos, I basically take you through my entire thought process. I'm an ex-professional player, current 20-0 weekend league player, and I'm here to help you guys improve. So everything that I'm doing on the pitch, I'm going to try and speak out loud and give you guys a better understanding of different habits and things that you can be doing to give yourself a better chance of winning games. We will have the controller input on the screen as well. Any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is our opponent's team. Some very nice players there. Pele, wow, must be nice. Uh, Eusebio is crazy as well. Controller input will be on the screen. Uh, any questions, as always, please do let me know. We're going to speak thought process out loud. So from minute one, offside traps. We've got to make sure that we don't concede any cheesy kickoff goals. That is something that a lot of people will struggle with. You can see we're mixing the second man press. I'm manually marking options at the same time. Actually switched off my centre back there and now off my full back to second man press. Uh, you can see that I'm trying to cover the passing angles. We're still offside trapping as well. Trying to get as tight as possible and eventually we win the ball back. And once we win the ball back, it's not about counter-attacking or doing anything crazy. It's a key part of defending that when you win the ball, you need to make sure you keep it. I see so many different people in coaching sessions and other areas where they'll do a piece of good defending, but then they'll waste that piece of good defending by actually just giving the ball straight back. So that is something we want to avoid. Just taking our time here, using the fullback switch, we're going to trigger a player lock. Just try and throw our opponent off the scent a little bit. R1 dribbling out wide here, obviously a very, very effective tool. Uh, we're just trying to shield the ball where possible. We'll recycle it all the way, trigger our fullback on a run, and then play that through ball. It's actually an awful ball from Van Dyke. More R1 dribbling though. Uh, just taking our time. We'll cut the ball into the middle. L1 sprint boost. We'll do a ball roll scoop just to keep the ball. Uh, get the ball into a nice cutback position. Drag back position, I was meant to say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys the attacking, uh, the attacking mindset as well as the defensive. Because obviously, you know, we're going to be on the ball as well. But here we go. Defending once again. Offside traps. Mixing that second man press. Trying to anticipate and right stick switch. You can see there, we nearly won the ball by me anticipating where he was going to go. Right stick switching and moving into the passing lane. So you guys have got to be proactive with how you're actually switching and moving your players around. Uh, we give the ball away in a bad position here. We've got to be careful. We'll use the second man press. Uh, we'll mark his potential runner. You can see he's got players on the edge of the box. I'm trying to stick super tight to them at all times. Just taking our time here. Um, he's got nowhere to go with Eusebio, so he will recycle. We'll offside trap again to get that line nice and high. Force him into a risky ball. And then we do have a counter-attack opportunity now. Nothing really on in the end, so we will recycle it. Uh, we'll use the player lock option into Modric here. R1 dribbling, driven pass. Poor from me, to be honest. But again, as soon as we lose the ball, we've got to switch into defensive mode. Taking our time. Uh, just looking at potential options, you can see I'm dragging players out and micromanaging. And what I mean by that is I'll drag players into certain positions and then actually switch off of them when I'm happy with the position they're in. It's just moving your team around into a position you want. So you can see there we drag Modric into the middle 
and we are able to intercept the pass. There's quite a lot that goes into defending at a high level. It's all about moving your players around, making sure that there's no easy gaps for your opponent to work with. Uh, we're defending well in this game, but we're attacking like a bit of an idiot. So we've got to sort that out. But again, you can see... Uh, just marking the potential middle run here. The AI does step in and bail us out. And we take our time. You'll very rarely see a high-level player win the ball back and give it away. And it's actually one of the most common things I see at a lower level. So that says a lot about the importance of it. Um, get unlucky there. Recycle the ball to the edge of the box. Potential Traveller opportunity. Oh, we're getting rigged. We're getting rigged. But again, we've lost the ball. We're dragging our players back. Even if we're not making a tackle, uh, we're getting players back into position. You can see here, and it's just really helping because it means that the players that are in the midfield, we're able to just keep them in position whilst controlling others. Here, we mark the run in behind, uh, take our time, and we keep the ball very, very nicely there. Just play our way out of trouble a little bit. We're going to fake a player lock just to give us a few extra seconds. You can see it always works, man. If you're ever in doubt... <laughs> Trigger a player lock and just chill for a second. It'll give you a little bit of time. It makes your opponent think. Okay, so we're playing over the top. Uh, we'll play a pass into the middle. L1 sprint boost with Puskas. R1 dribbling. And that is 1-0. So we've done a really good job. We've locked our opponent out. He's becoming frustrated and the gaps are appearing. Here we've got to be careful of the kickoff once again. You can see... The original second man press there didn't work. So I actually released my finger off of R1 and then started it again to get onto the right player. This sort of stuff is just things that are going to happen in the game and that we have to adapt to. You know, even if we right stick switch and it goes to the wrong player, you've got to be ready to quickly switch again and adapt to every possible situation. Uh, we'll use the player lock again. We'll recycle the ball. Uh, nice through ball out to our fullback. We'll use the player lock. Trying to cut inside here and find a potential passing option. Nothing really on, so we'll take our time with it. Uh, we'll recycle all the way. Triggering my fullback on a forward run, and we'll actually play that and try and win a flick on. Didn't work on this occasion. Uh, we've got to mark the through ball in behind here. <clears throat> my voice is going. Uh, we're dragging players back, offside trapping. You can see I'm marking these potential through balls and then we step into the passing lane. And it's really, it's not so much about instinct. It's more about just having general rules that you apply to your game that you stick to. So for example, you'll see every time without fail, I will always, always track the run in behind. I will always drag players back. I will always second man press. Different rules that you can add into your game that are going to really help you on the defensive end. So we'll take our time here. Really, really bad ball from Kunde. He's a liability going forward. Okay, so we're marking that run in behind once again. There's two potential runners, so we've got to be super careful. Do step in with the midfield. And, wow, we've got to adapt here, if I've ever seen it. Offside trap, get the line a little bit higher. Um, we're staying very close to his Pele in the middle, and that is going to be half time. So you can see... We've essentially locked him out. We're not doing anything crazy. It's just general, good, high-level, consistent defending. Making the right decision at the right time. And it's something that you guys can implement fairly easy. Like I say, it's it's just rules in certain areas of the pitch. Like, you've got you've got a winger running down past your fullback. You want a second man press with your fullback. You've got someone running through the middle. You need to make sure you switch and cover the run in the middle. Just set rules that are really going to help you improve. So second half, we'll use the player lock inside. Recycle the play once again. I'm actually calling my players short now to give me an option here because there's nothing on. Uh, the opponent seems to have gone some sort of press. So we've got to be super careful with that. Little dinks ball here. We'll probably lose the header. We actually don't. We win it. L1 sprint boost with Ousmane Dembele. Uh, another L1 sprint boost with Ousmane. And another L1 sprint boost with Ousmane. And uh, we end up recycling the ball. Bit of R1 dribbling with Kunde. We'll play the ball out into the middle. Driven pass into Puskas. Shot cancel. Taking our time. R1 dribbling. There's nothing really on here, so we'll recycle it once more. Driven pass into Neymar. Good tackle from the opponent. Another thing that you may notice in my defending is that I'm very rarely even pressing the tackle button. It's not needed. Like, if you position right and you're holding jockey, that is one of the more important things. 
uh, when using your defender. So we'll take our time here. We've got to play our way out. I don't know why that's not locked onto Beckham, but it's actually worked out okay. Uh, taking our time, again, no panic, using the second man press. You can see there we've dragged our midfielder Beckham all the way back and it's him that stepped in and intercepted the ball. So that's another thing you can do to make your life easier. Just make sure you're constantly dragging players back when you have the time to do so. There's a time and place to do it, of course. If the priority is, you know, someone running in on goal, then of course, you know, we're not going to want to drag our midfields back. But if we've got the time... Always worth dragging a player back into a useful position. So we're taking our time here with Blanc. Uh, we're going to fake another player lock just to make him think. You see how it gives us the time down the wing. Recycle it all the way. Quick little pass in. Or if Neymar got a touch there, we would have been in a great position. He's not really got many forward options on here. So I'm going to be quite aggressive. Yep, we step in there, win the ball up high. L1 sprint boost with Neymar. More R1 dribbling. And then we find the back of the net. It's been a true lockdown so far. Not giving up any chances whatsoever. Um, and it's just through defending that will really work for you guys in any meta. I don't think there's there's anything special going on here. It's just purely simple decision making at the right time. Um, we'll fake another player lock. Works super well. Cut the ball back. Driven pass. One more pass. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that is going to be that. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Any questions about defending, please do let me know. Always happy to help you guys out. I appreciate it a lot. Remember to subscribe for more videos on how to improve at this game. I will help you get better. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. And peace.